Hey everybody, welcome to Niagara Wine Videos. I'm Brad and I bring you the story behind Niagara's finest wines and this is my LCBO pick of the week. Um, you know, once in a while I'm gonna do a, a non-Niagara wine. I was actually asked, uh, you know, once in a while to throw in uh, a wine that's not a Niagara wine that, um, you know, I purchased at the LCBO where most people in Ontario shop for their wine. Uh, they said, hey, you know, why don't you mix it up, throw in a non-Niagara wine, let us know what you're drinking. Uh, so I got a really cool wine here. Uh, it's a really good price point. It's $14.95. Uh, and it's named after uh, the small town or commune area where it's from in Italy. Uh, and it's called the uh, Salis Salentino. So there is the label. Hopefully you can see it. And uh, this is a really neat wine because it comes from the region of Puglia or Puglia. Um, I'm not Italian, so I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Uh, but this uh, Puglia region or Puglia is located right uh, at the very southern point of Italy, right in the heel of the boot. So you know, uh, there's a good picture of Italy there in the Wine Spectator. Uh, you can see. Um, can you see that? I'm on the other side of the camera, so I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can. Um, it, it's a long boot, and in the heel you have Puglia, or Puglia, I think it's a silent G. Um, and in uh, the region of Puglia, at the very uh, end of the boot, you have this town, uh, Salis Salentino, which the, the wine is, is named after, uh, and the grape varietal is called Neg Romero, uh, is what uh, most of the wines come from, that grape. Uh, but there's also another grape there called Malvasia Nero. So, you know, obviously I'm not pronouncing these uh, entirely correctly, but uh, so it's a blend of two of the native grapes that's growing in the south of Italy in the boot uh, in the town of Salis Salentino in the area or the region of Puglia. So, very cool wine, uh, you know, anytime you get an old world wine, um, yeah, they always have really nice structure and complexity and they're always really dry, which I like. That, that's what makes a, um, you know, a 90 point or higher wine for me. It's got to be structure, dry, uh, first of all. And then I like the flavor complexities. Uh, and this wine here um, on the nose is really, really um, kind of complex for a, um, you know, a cheap wine, a $15 wine. Uh, on the nose, you know, you do really get nice uh, cherry notes, uh, spicy cherry notes, uh, but you also get an earthiness to it. Uh, it gives you like a barnyard smell. So that, that's, and that's, it reminds me of Rioja wines, right? So that barnyard is actually a, um, uh, a uh, effective uh, brett. Um, the real word is called, um, is called, uh, uh, Bretanomycides. <laughs> okay, so anyway, Brett is a bacteria that forms uh, in the winemaking process, which gives it this uh, barnyardy smell, uh, which gives it kind of a complexity. Uh, a little bit of barnyard is nice. Too much barnyard kind of spoils everything, but a little bit of it is nice. So it's got a little bit of that barnyard Rioja funkiness in there, uh, but it's also got a nice cedar cigar smell and tobacco leaf with also some nice sweet vanilla herbal qualities. So really quite intriguing, complex nose uh, on the palate. It's got a really neat dustiness, like really dusty. Like you took fresh, uh, you know, wood shavings, like sawdust, threw it in your mouth. You really get a dustiness. Uh, and then it's a, um, a little sour finish so really complex cool wine and if you can see the color it's a little bit orangey I don't know if you can see that so you usually get that on aged wines the oranginess starts to come through which it, it, it is orangey uh, but this is a 2009 Reserva so it's been aged at least three years uh, before release uh, the wine is uh, light to medium bodied, so you have to know what you're getting into. This is not a full bodied wine. Uh, it's also not super dry, like it's not going to you know, rip your mouth apart. Um, it, it, uh, it drinks more like a classic Rioja. It's got more elegance and uh, I'd say gracefulness to it. Uh, so it's definitely, you know, in my notes I put light bodied, but um, you know, you can get 
wines that are way lighter than this. So it's light to medium bodied, uh, but really neat wine. Um, really, really cool uh, old world rustic type of wine with some, you know, elegance and class to it. So the producer, Torino, uh, the region where the wine comes from, Salis Salentino. Uh, Reserva 2009 uh, from Puglia, the boot, the heel of the boot in southern Italy. Really neat wine. That is your LCBO Wine of the Week.